Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm 7 Demo 7, and this is the Wow Stick. We're going to check this out. This is an electronic screwdriver. Now, I've actually gotten a few of these in the last couple months here. I've been using this one here, which is the ES120, which is a motion control one, which means that when you turn your wrist, it actually activates the screwdriver. I have it in this little carrying pouch here. So I've been using this for quite a while, and this one is actually quite expensive, so that's why I wanted to compare it to the WOW stick uh, that we're going to be unboxing today. But what you do is basically press the button, and you slowly turn your hand, and it slowly turns the front end of it here, either direction, or faster, either direction. So this is a pretty cool screwdriver. I've been using it for the last couple of months here. So I'll let you guys know how that compares to this WOW stick. Now this WOW stick feels a little bit bigger, uh, just in the package, it feels pretty um, heavy. There's a huge price difference between the two. I actually got this one from Banggood for about $30. And I don't think it's motion control, but uh, the um, ES120 is actually it's close to $100 when I got it. Um, it's on sale now for about $79. I don't think they sold as well as um, they were hoping for. So uh, I'll just take this out of the package. It has a kind of a similar type of like Apple type of packaging here. It's pretty cool looking here. So let's see what this looks like. So this is the wow stick here. And it comes with a bunch of different bits here. That's pretty exciting because uh, my other one didn't come with as many sticks. So it looks like there's just a forward and backward button that you're going to be putting double AA, A. Double A AA or triple A batteries? I think this is triple A actually. Let me just pull off the back here. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a triple A. But if it's double A, that would be actually pretty awesome. I'll be showing you a running video of this pretty soon. So let's just go ahead and screw in the back of it here. So this wild stick is going to be kind of a simplified version of the ES120. Um, it's going to go either direction. It has a, has a gear drive inside the inside of it. The case here is magnetic, actually, so it um, goes together just like that. It comes apart. Let's put the wild stick back in here. Let's see what kind of bits that it comes with because the one thing that the um, ES120 didn't come with it didn't come with a lot of um, parts as far as uh, bits. It just came with a few. So it looks like we have some hex bits here, some screwdrivers, and these are all the little four millimeter hex wrenches here. So it looks like we've got, that looks like a, a 1.5. And we have a uh, Torx bits here. These are for like iPhones. So that's what these are actually intended for. They're like for iPhone. So um, these are all screwdrivers here. Um, so lots of really cool uh, bits that they have in here. And you can actually hold quite a few of these uh, in the packaging here so that that's pretty cool so like i said guys coming up qu quite soon on my on my channel i'll have a comparison between this and this let's cut now to me using this uh with the AAA batteries in it all right guys so it's the next day and i secured myself some AAA batteries it was very very difficult so um i'm just gonna go through how i would normally work on my quadcopter i'll take off some some bolts and some screws here it looks like i've got some maybe some four millimeters or three millimeters there and I have some two millimeters up here on the top so let's see how hard it is to use these little um, these little tubes so you can take this out it's a little grabby thing that holds these little tubes in let's see what sizes we have here looks like looks this looks like a two mil does it say it on here it's a 2.5 millimeter so that's I think gonna be for the bottom uh, motor screws here yep that is a perfect fit for there so I'm gonna need one of those and let's see what other size that looks like a three yeah, let's see what this one is. And these seem like they're magnetized as well. That is a um, that is a Phillips head. Let's see, this is a square bit. So these are all kind of mixed up. Let's see what, what um, they have. So I basically have you know, a bunch of different types of um, screw heads in one thing. So let's see what I need to get here. I need a hex bit. That's kind of annoying. All right, let's see here. No hex bit there. Okay, so the only hex bit that they have is this one here, which is a 2.5. Why don't they have a different size than that? Let me just check everything. Let's pull them all out. Okay, so we have two different sizes of screwdrivers here. One torch bit here. These two are uh, micro, screw, micro Phillips and another torch bit. Another torch bit. Torx are little star shaped bits in case you guys didn't know. A uh, really tiny torx bit and another screwdriver. And this really tiny flathead and a torx bit. And torx bit and another flathead. And like I said, the guys, these are really intended for working on iPhones. So I wouldn't expect this kit to have the proper size um, bits for quadcopters. You know, so I, I'm not gonna not gonna dwell on that because um, what I had to buy for my ES120 was I, I had to buy this kit here. Now this actually has all the nice sizes that you would normally have for a quadcopter. This is really nice. I'll put a link to this in the description below. So when you open this up, it's got its own handle here if you don't want to use the mechanized one, but you just pop this up. You press down right here. It says open and all the bits pop up and they're nice and accessible. And now you can see I've actually taken out the bits that I normally use for my quadcopter. So let me grab um, my ES120. 
Okay, guys, so this is the ES120, and this is where I keep my little bits that are just, these are all my most used bits, so I just keep it in this little case here. And I need a two millimeter, which is gonna be this one right here, I believe. And these are pretty high quality bits as well, so let me just make sure that this is the proper size for the top of the cop copter here, and it is. And so if you're buying these bits, you need to make sure that this is a four millimeter hex on all the shafts here, because it's not gonna be the standard ones that you get from Home Depot. All right, so we're just gonna put that in, it's magnetized. And it goes forward and back, and it has the nice, uh, really nicely lit uh, working area. So the one drawback of this one, I, I'm not sure if this is a torque sensing, so it's going to, I don't know if it's going to slow down or if it's just going to strip things out. I'm going to see if it has enough torque just to pull these ones out, just as it is. Most likely I'll have to unscrew it with the, the screwdriver first, so let's just see here. All right. Yeah, so not enough torque to move these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just unscrew it a few times with my hand there. Not super fast. Now, just I, the one thing to note is this is a constant speed. The ES120 is a uh, variable speed, and it's much faster than this one. So I'm just going to torque it with my hand here. And um, the thing is that if you, you're you going to have to remember to kind of torque it um, with your thumb off to this side. So when you torque it and loosen it, then you have, you're not all the way over here. So I'm just taking off the top plate here. Let's see how we do with the motor bolts here. Um, pretty easy coming out of these metal standoffs because really there's no resistance. Uh, so this is going to work really well uh, for this type of application. So let me try the 2.5 millimeter bit. So this, the wow bit only comes with two. It's a 2.5 and a 2. So that's not going to, excuse me, a, a 2.5 and a, a 3, I believe. So let's see how this is. Okay, so I'm just undoing this. And this, these bolts here have, um, these screws here have lo Loctite on them just to let you know. So I'm going to unscrew that a little bit. Struggling a little bit, but not bad. Okay, let me screw this back in. Whoa, I started cross-threading that one. There we go. It's slowing down a little bit, torque-wise. So let's see. Let's see, I'm just going to tighten this by hand here. Okay, that's fully tightened up. Now, um, so that looks pretty good like that for that. Now, if you're going to be working on RC cars, if these screws are going to be screwing into um, plastic, there's usually a lot more uh, resistance than just going into metal uh, motors and or standoff. So keep that in mind. So let me just take this bit out. Let's see how the ES100, uh, the 120 does in comparison. You can see it goes quite a bit faster there. So uh, the ES120 was is definitely... Uh, a, a higher quality uh, screwdriver. However, it is a little bit quirky to use as well. So let's, let me take this bit out here. We'll put the two millimeters back in here. One with the uh, the S120 and the other one with the um, with the Wow Stick. It's, like I said, there's quite a bit of a price difference between the two. So you really have to make your own decision what's more important to you. Um, it's this uh, the ES120 is definitely pretty cool with the the uh, OLED screen and the being able to upgrade the firmware and everything. Okay, I did that one with that. Let's try that with the Wow Stick. I'll see how much um, more tight that these need to go uh, by hand after screwing them in with just the screwdriver. I think I was cross-threading there. Okay, there we go. Okay, all right, so let me get a hand tool and let's see how tight these are in comparison. Let's see, see how the, e1, the E120 did. That one's pretty tight, just about a little eighth of a turn there. Let's see how the wow stick did. Yeah, about the same. Actually, this one was tightened a little bit tighter. So who knows, uh, maybe <laughs> that's probably not the best test in the world, but it's a good comparison between the two. So. Uh, all right, so I will have a comprehensive uh, video comparing apples to oranges here or uh, apples to apples here as it were um, But keep in mind that you do get a lot more bits with the Wow stick um, However, they may not be the um, the ones that you want for working on quadcopters and or cars And like I said, I, I got I got these tools just because I really hate unscrewing long screws with um just my hand because I do so much work with my hands. It's nice to give my hands that break. So, uh, so guys, if you're building a lot of quadcopters, this might be a really good thing to get. You get some of these bits from Amazon, and it has pretty much anything you would ever want in this kit here, and it's really inexpensive, like nine dollars expensive. So, uh, keep that in mind as you as you're looking at these things. 
A lot of great things to love about the Wild Stick, especially the price and how many bits you get with it. It's a real simple operation, working kind of in a pen style, so forward and backwards. And I do love the light on it, which the ES120 does not come with. This torque seems pretty decent with it. It just takes two AA batteries, which is nice, I guess, if you just uh, if you run out of batteries and you just need to get some more, you just get some more. Uh, but the price is really nice. I love the carrying case as well. The carrying case is probably one of the best part, parts of this. Now, um, if I were to make any suggestion for the makers of the Wow Stick or any of these other ones is that leave enough room in the packaging to allow us to keep our favorite bit in here because I hate taking the bits out of these things or that thing or those tiny little tubes. Um, I might uh, just modify this and just put a little cut mark here so I can just lay this in here with my favorite bit in there Let's say the two millimeter that I tend to use a lot. So um, That would be pretty cool, but um, as it is I love this case. It's really really nice. You just pop it together. It's ready to go It's gonna slip right into a backpack really nicely. I think uh, hands down. This is a better case than the e ES120 so all right, guys, so I, I hope you enjoyed this little video on the, the WoW um, stick. Uh, keep in mind, I'm going to have a full video um, on the ES120, and I will put a link to that up here. And if there's nothing there yet, that means I haven't made the video yet. Um, thank you for joining me, and if you click on any of the links down below, it does help to support my channel. And I will talk to you guys later.